Hello, Anime Nyan here. So just a really quick tutorial today um, on how to get the private server for Dead by Daylight working. So what is the private server for Dead by Daylight? Basically, it allows you to mod the latest version of the game with the unpacked files and play uh, Kill Your Friends matches um, with up to 32 players. It also has a lot of other features. It allows you to um, play single player matches. So you can uh, kind of get footage if you need that and also to use all perks and all skins. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Full credits goes to Brandon Italy and Shinsley and the people on the Mod by Daylight server uh, who made this uh, private server. Just one small thing, we do have a Discord in the description below. I will also link, uh, link uh, the Dead by Daylight modding Discord in the de description below. So you can feel free to ask any questions that you have about this process there. Okay, so what are the software prerequisites for this method? Uh, first thing first, we want to go down to this link here. So it'll be mod by daylight private server. Okay, actually, no, I'll put it in the description below. <laughs> That's okay. Um, basically, uh, if you just go down to the description below and if you just click on this private server.zip file, so, and you want to press start download and just download it. So I won't do it because I've already down downloaded it already. And the second thing that you want to do is in the description below of this video, uh, you want to download this Google Drive link. That I have here, which is the Unreal Pack.zip file. So I'll put this link in the description below. Um, it's going to be pre-edited, okay? And I will update the links if anything gets updated in future. Let's see. Okay, so after you've done that, basically you should have these two files here. So in fact, I'll create a new folder and I'll call it private server. Okay, yeah, so you should have these two files downloaded here. So what you want to do is you want to uh, create one folder for the private server and one folder for the Unreal Pack for, uh, thing. So I'm going to create two new folders um, just by right clicking, uh, right click rename. I'm using the new Windows 11 as well. So Unreal Pack. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one here. So what I did to do that was Control X and I pressed to cut it and Control V to paste it. So you want to right click and you should show more options, extract here or extract files. So you should be able to do this with Windows itself. Okay, so you'll see that's extracted there and we'll put the Unreal Pack.zip file. We'll just move it into the Unreal Pack folder and we'll extract that as well. So I'll just extract here or extract files, right click, um, then extract here or extract files. Okay, in fact, we didn't even need to do that. <laughs> it had its own folder, um, but I'll just make it a little bit cleaner by putting everything in that Unreal Pack folder here. From here, what we want to do is double click on this private server launcher.bat file. And basically, if it's not where you've installed, if C program files, 86 Steam, Steam apps, common, Debra daylight is not where you've installed it, you want to like type in a no, press enter and put in the correct path. Uh, but in my case, uh, I've installed it through Steam, so that's where Dead by Daylight is for me. So I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna press enter, okay? So basically, uh, you sh should see this the first time that it happens, but if you've seen this, uh, what it says here, try running the setup again if you receive an error message in Steam. So don't worry if there's an error the first time, you'll see it actually deletes your deadbydaylight.exe file, uh, that's okay. So basically you wanna close it and you wanna start it again, and you wanna, uh, select an option by pressing number three and uh, press set up private server. Okay, so you might need to do this multiple times. So if it doesn't work, if it like if it doesn't work the first time, just keep on trying it. Basically, just keep on closing it and opening it again, and just type in number three, press enter again and again and again until you see that uh, Steam itself, uh, you see that screen before was updating it. Okay, so from there. What we need to do is we just need to do one more thing, which is to add in those extra things um, to allow for um, uh, single player games and to take off uh, crows and everything. Um, so if you just look in the private server setup right here, it's actually these instructions right here, um, this config edits. So basically I've done all the config edits for you, but basically this allows you to unlock all the cosmetics this allows you to do kill your friends matches with only one player. And this allows you to ignore the end game conditions. So this is only if um, 
<laughs> it's only if you would just want to use it for sp spectating, I guess. Um, but there is, so basically, um, if you go into the Unreal Pack folder where you unzipped it, and you go inside pack chunk 40, config Windows no editor, dead by daylight, config, and into the devi default device profiles.ini uh, file. So just double click it to open it in Notepad. So, and if you just go down to Windows, so you just search for Windows, make sure wraparound is ticked, and you should see Windows device profile, right? So if you just go down to the end right here, to the add custom C bars here. So you'll see that I've added every one of these. So if you don't want uh, any of some of these features ticked, like toggle crow spawning, you want it uh, enabled, uh, you can just change this to a one, or you could just delete this entire line altogether, then save the file. Um, but obviously in this case, um, because I'm just doing it uh, for, I want these, um, I'm just gonna leave them as, as they are. I'm not gonna save it. But if you wanted those changes disabled, just save it. One thing I did forget is if your game is installed in a different location, you need to open the gamepath.txt file and change this to where your Dead by Daylight exe file is located. So you just need to uh, change this and just save it after you're done with that. All we need to do is just drag this pack chunk 40 config windows no editor folder onto the unreal pack with compression dot bat. Okay, so just press enter and from here you're all set. So you can just launch Dead by Daylight uh, normally through Steam or you could do it through private server. So you can just go to the private server and you can just uh, double click on that private server launcher. Just one thing, um, if you wanted to launch live again, so you wanted to play the normal Dead by Daylight, just press, uh, put the number one and press enter. But obviously I wanna uh, play the private server, so I'm just gonna uh, uh, type a two and press enter. Okay, so it will prepare to launch and you'll start to see that uh, it'll launch an entirely different version of Dead by Daylight. Uh, just a few disclaimers. Um, it hasn't been updated for the latest killers and survivors. So Jonah uh, has not been added into the game, unfortunately, same as the artist. So that's just one thing to note, unfortunately. Um, but everything else and all the other characters should be unlocked, regardless if you have them in the live build. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we'll just uh, wait for it a little bit. You may need to wait a little bit longer than normal, but don't worry, it should work out. Fingers crossed. Okay, yep, it's loading in. Loading in a little bit. Okay, so we can see it's loaded in now. Um, so what we can do here, so you can see that it's worked because the archives is disabled. And if you play as survivor, if you go play a survivor. So matchmaking, regular matchmaking with the live build does not work. Um, just a quick disclaimer. So you cannot play with uh, any normal matches. You can only play with uh, custom games with Kill Your Friends. So, and if you see here, pretty much all the cosmetics for every character will be unlocked, except for obviously um, Jonah. And I think you have to complete the tutorial. I don't know why David King is, un is, is uh, locked. Uh, but he should be unlocked. Uh, but if you see, um, we can even get dire hype here. <laughs> so if we just go to the customize and we go to the shirts, you can see uh, if I just take, what is it, dire hype? Uh, dire hype. No, it's not there. I think it's somewhere around here. Dire hype. Ah, this one, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we've got the dire hype $1,000 shirt. Um, yeah, which is going for like $1,000 nowadays. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much customize to any outfit you like. Uh, this is just a really cool thing just to see how all the outfits look on your character. And you can even play as them in custom Kill Your Friends matches. So if we just have a look, I've got all the outfits, same with all the killers as well, obviously. So that's how you know it will have worked because the Unreal Pack uh, edits will have worked. So if I just look under a killer like, um, I guess, Spirit, I go customize, we can see that we have all the outfits 
including some of the newest outfits, including uh, the um, ice outfit. Um, yeah, so yeah, we have the, bl the blighted outfits, the Seifuku outfits, and these other uh, <laughs> origin outfits as well. Okay, now to the part of the single player matches. So basically, uh, you can play any single player matches as a survivor or as a killer. Uh, I'm just going to play as survivor in this case. So it says cannot start with zero killers, but if you just press ready, uh, it will actually work. Uh, just a disclaimer here, don't be afraid if it takes um, a little bit longer. So <laughs> you'll, see, you'll think that it's not working because it will stay on the screen for one minute to one minute and a half. So just um, let it load. And you can also choose a custom map, uh, which I forgot to do, um, but you can obviously choose whatever map that you want to see. And this is a really cool way to um, be able to look at the maps at your ledger without having a killer or having a friend uh, nearby, uh, having to play a custom kill your friends matches. And actually it's a really good way to, um, to look at how to build the maps in Dead by Daylight and uh, texture them as well, um, which I'll probably go over at a later date, but yeah. So don't worry if it seems like it's not loading at all. It is loading, it's just really, really slow for some reason <laughs> at this screen. So just wait a bit. Yep. Okay, yeah, so you can see that now it's, start, it's starting to actually load in. So don't worry if it's on that screen for a minute to a minute and a half, uh, that's perfectly normal. Yeah, as we can see, we're in the Ormond Resort. We're in the Ormond map. So yeah, everything is as normal, but we can play single player games. And remember that this game, this game is entirely separate uh, to the normal live build. So any cosmetics uh, that you equip here will not transfer over to the live build or anything. So yeah, so we can see that we are in a single player match. As you can see, and we can just walk around and observe the map and get footage. Yeah, and another another small thing that I did briefly mention, but um, there are you can play up to 32 player matches. Um, if I have a look at their Discord, um, they have said that you can play up to 32. Yeah, so matches in the private server do not have role limits and have a limit of 32 players so you can actually um you can play with 32 players with other with multiple killers so yeah so you can play three killers versus six survivors 12 survivors whatever you want so yeah that's a really really cool thing and that's something that i kind of intend to use after uh, a few people are more aware of this method um yeah so other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'll just leave this match. And yeah, so just feel free to enjoy the private server. Uh, so yes, you can just leave the match and you'll be able to use the private server um, for Dead by Daylight. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, you are my lifeblood. Anime Nyan, out.